Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today it is time for, once again, another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel, or if you haven't seen the series before, what I do is, once a week, every Wednesday, go through all of the new beauty releases as seen on Trend Mood's Instagram page, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist, or if I think everything's a total washout. We have quite a few things to go over, considering Black Friday is just days away. I did do a live stream about kind of my preemptive Black Friday wish list, so I'll throw that up in the cards if you did miss that. Also, let me know in the comments down below, did you get a notification for that? Because I had a lot of subscribers and even my best friend tell me that they never got a notification, even though they have the bell clicked for that live stream. I'm going to try to reach out to YouTube, but whenever I reach out to them, they always say, well, have your subscriber like reach out to us directly and we can fix it. But I'm like, if it's affecting a lot of subscribers, I don't want to make them all individually go, you know? So anyway, the, <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is if you didn't get a notification for that live stream, just let me know down below so I can kind of reach out to YouTube. Before we jump into this week's products, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this weekly series. And if you have it and you'd like to, I really hope you would consider subscribing, hit that little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving for everyone in the United States, so happy early Thanksgiving. I will have a video going up both Thanksgiving and Black Friday, so keep your eyes peeled for that. They'll go up my usual time, either between 6 or 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it looks like this is a new skincare brand out. It looks like it's called Red Earth Beauty. They have a whole bunch of, like, just skincare products. So they have something called the Happy Pills Mask, so there's, like, little pill looking things but they're full masks so you just add water to them and they expand into a full cotton sheet mask i think that's really cool i'd be interested in picking those up because it looks like they're only four dollars too and they, it's like a whole pack of them that would be really nice they also have a deep dive thirst quenching water essence a deep dive water cream they have some lipstick which is packaged to look like matches. I think that's actually like really cute. So they're called Have Fun Lipstick Matches. They have a refreshing cleanser, a hydrate, hydrate, firming eye treatment, a nourishing lotion. It just seems like a very interesting skincare line. I'm not sure where it's going to be available. Where are you going to be available? So I think it's only available from their website, Red Earth Beauty. I'm not sure if I would go out of my way to pick them up from their website. Maybe just those um, face masks, because I think those are really cute and they seem pretty affordable. But then I have to look at shipping. That's the only thing about buying directly from a brand, you never know about shipping. Speaking of shipping, the lip that I'm wearing today is actually from the Casey Holmes and Palladio collab. This is in the shade Rescue. This is the first time I'm wearing it because I actually just got them in the mail yesterday. Sally Beauty shipping takes forever but i did get all three shades so i'm going to be testing those out and they'll come up in a future video i don't know if i'm going to do a whole video on them or if i'm going to talk about them in a get ready with me but i finally got them so this is something that i don't need but i'm tempted to get it this is a kit from sigma it comes with it's i think it's only available from nordstrom but it comes with a brush cleaning mat and then their f80 brush and it's like a special copper both the mat and the brush i'm thinking of getting the matte for brush cleaning that you can just stick into your sink because i have the glove from sigma and i like it but like my hand still gets like soaking wet i don't know i like it but i think i would like to try out one of the mattes and this one just looks really pretty and i love the f80 brush i have mine i've had it for almost two years it'll be two years in like march that i've had that brush and it's still like awesome <laughs> it's still amazing so i don't need another one but I, I want it. <laughs> oh, I want it. Okay, so this is the new KKW holiday collection. Who's buying this? Like, I'm looking at this picture and all I'm seeing is 50 shades of beige. It almost looks like kids makeup, like the make-believe makeup you would give to like a toddler. Oh, yeah. And that, this kit in the picture right here cost hundred and fifty dollars Jesus get it together Kim so another update I did not buy the James Charles palette and at the end of the day I'm actually glad that I didn't because I see him going off on all like he's literally like looking out for 
not 100% positive reviews and he's leaving such passive aggressive comments saying, oh, you need to do this to make the palette work. You need to do this to make the palette work. If the palette doesn't work for someone, it doesn't work for them. You can't, oh, like, you can't release a product and have it work for 100% of the people that are going to use it. I just, I don't understand his behavior. I'm really glad I didn't get it because, of course, the quality for Morphe is very hit or miss and you never really know. So I'm really glad I didn't get it and I'm not going to be getting it. Okay, so I also thought this was kind of really, not stupid, but... The whole preview with Nikki tutorials, everyone, like, she was mixing pigments in a bowl and, like, everyone thought it was a preview for either a collab or for her own makeup line and then she comes out and says, oh no, I'm just rebranding my channel. Like, there are other ways to rebrand your channel other than teasing what is very obviously, like, a makeup teaser. Like, just, just understand that. Like, I think she got a little bit, like annoyed that everyone was assuming it was a makeup collab or a makeup thing but look at the video what were we supposed to think <laughs> right you've got like your name everywhere there's a new logo and you're literally sitting and mixing pigments in a bowl come on like either she's being a little bit eh and is annoyed because of the way the video came across or she did it on purpose just to get people talking never really know Oh, this Tarte palette is a hot mess. Ugh. Okay, so with the Kylie Holiday Collection, am I the only one that just gets really annoyed when the palettes are taken, or the photos are taken in, like, this dark light? How the hell am I supposed to see the colors here? Like, they, these could look totally different in actual, like, daylight. Or in actual lighting. Like, who's taking these photos? And there's not anything better released until it actually becomes, ugh, just, no, that's annoying. And then two, the palettes look just like palettes she's already come out with. The only thing that I would be even, like, remotely interested in would be either a blush or a highlighter, because I think the packaging for those is actually really cute. It's the baby blue, and you've got the dripping still, but even then, that's gonna be expensive. If anything, I would pick up a blush, because I don't, I haven't tried a Kylie blush yet. But again, like, if those dark pictures, like, can you just show us the actual, like, product in nice lighting, please? <laughs> okay, so I gotta say, the more I see this Too Faced palette, the less interested I am in it. I don't know if it's just, like, how glittery everything looks. Everything looks so chunky. <sighs> I know the packaging is gonna be a pain in the butt, too. I'm just not really interested in this anymore. Huh. So, I mentioned this briefly in um, the live stream that I did, as well as on my Twitter account, but BH Cosmetics is coming out with the sister palette to the Zodiac palette, and it's like the Zodiac love signs palette, or I don't care, I'm getting it. <laughs> I love the formula of that palette, it's one of the best affordable palettes ever. When does this go on sale? It goes on sale November 22nd, so, ooh. Am I going to wake up early and order this on my phone before Thanksgiving? Probably. <laughs> ah, I'm so excited. It does look fairly warm toned, but you know what? I love the first palette so much and I love the quality from BH. I'm going to give this a shot. I'm going to get it. Let me know what you guys want to see with that palette. Do you want to see a full review, which will take me a couple of weeks? Or do you want to just see like a couple looks, one palette and my first thoughts on it? Let me know below. These are some new palettes from the brand Bombshell Cosmetics. I've not tried anything from this brand before, but that colorful eyeshadow palette, which one is that one? Is that the Sour Blast one? That one looks interesting. But this is an indie brand. Let me see. It's available November 23rd. It'll only be available on their website. I'll take a look. I have no idea what the cost is. I have no idea what shipping's gonna be like, but that colorful palette does have me interested. So Clinique is coming out with something a little bit different. This is called the Clinique ID line, and it's supposed to be a customization system that allows the consumer to choose from three dramatically different hydration bases and pair this with an active cartridge concentrate that addresses one of five skin concerns. They're $39, Jesus. But I think that's a little bit interesting. Like, I know the um, 
skincare, not community, uh, industry. And the makeup industry has been going more and more towards individualized products and bespoke products. And I think it's interesting that Clinique is jumping on because they're one of the biggest like skincare companies. They've been around forever. My grandma used Clinique when she was younger and she pushed me to use Clinique because she loved it so much. One of my favorite moisturizers is from Clinique. I just know it's, it's a bit expensive. So I've been trying to find a cheaper alternative. But this has me intrigued. I think it's a very interesting move for Clinique. I think it's good that they're kind of keeping up with these trends. But they're, they're a very solid brand overall. So I'm not sure if I would say I'm going to buy one of these. But I'd be interested in going to a Clinique counter and seeing what's available. Maybe trying one of these on. I don't know what the concentrate is. Do you put the concentrate on first? Or mix it in? Maybe you mix it in with the moisturizer. But it's interesting. Okay, so RuPaul is going to be collabing with Mally Beauty, but what is this palette? This, this looks like a KKW palette. There's only one thing from Mally Beauty that I've tried and really liked, and it was a mascara, like, almost two years ago. But I've never gone back and actually bought it again. I got it as a gift, and then I used it, and I was like, oh, this is pretty good mascara. But I'm not going to go out of my way to pick up any more Mally products. Oh, super excited super excited jeffree star is coming out with a volume two of the nudes bundle and i mentioned this in my live stream too but i was interested in picking up some full size of the lipsticks that i really like from the first nude bundle but i'm thinking of just holding off and getting the second nude bundle because i like minis i think they're so much better it won't come until december though so i gotta think should i pick up a full size lipstick while it's on sale or wait for december and see what the nudes bundle looks like I think I'm gonna wait for the bundle because I know I've picked up every other mini lipstick bundle he's come out with and I've loved them so I think I'm just gonna hold off and pick up this bundle. So this is a palette that I'm really interested in but I'm not sure about the theme. Like I don't care if you smoke weed if you're into that I'm not really that into it but like there's a difference between like liking it and then being like one of those people that is just like talking about how they smoke all the time. I feel like this palette is like the palette version of that person that just constantly talks about how much they smoke. But I love the colors. I love this color story. <laughs> so, oh my god, I really want this. It's from Melt Cosmetics. I think it's already out. November 20 no, it'll be out Friday. Oh. It'll be out Friday. It'll be available at noon. And I think it's cheaper than the other palettes that they came out with. Oh, but these, yeah, for a girl that loves green shadows... I want this palette. So these are the new mini Sephora Pro palettes. And to be honest, I was expecting a lot more than just this. Like you've got your boring, warm, neutral little one. And they've got a little one that has just like two little pops of color, a pink and a blue. Oh, I don't know. I feel like they could have done a lot more with a smaller palette. But this is what I wanted. I wanted one of the Pro palettes, but a little bit smaller. These aren't really enticing me, but if they were to come out with a better color story for one of these, I would be willing to try out that smaller one. Especially because I'm sure the smaller ones aren't going to be $68 like their bigger ones are. ABH is dropping a new lip bundle. Two new lip bundles, actually. A light nudes kit and a dark nudes kit for Black Friday. There are 10 lipsticks, and they're worth $200 values because they're all full size, but it's going to be $60 on Black Friday. Oh, I know I don't need it, but I want it. I need to hold myself back because I'm sure I have these colors. I like the ABH formula. I have a couple of shades, but one is like, I bought a blue because why not buy a blue? And then I have kind of like a mauve color, a little bit like this one. I need to hold myself back from this. This is so, that's such a nice bundle. Okay, so this is actually a palette from Zoeva that caught my eye. I'm interested. This is the Electric Eyes palette. So I just see some different tones in here. I see like a pink. I see like a dark green. It still has a lot of neutrals in it though. But I have been wanting to try Zoeva, but like I went to their website and could not find like one palette that I really wanted. So this one piqued my interest. Am I going to go out and buy it right away? Probably not. But it piqued my interest. 
So we didn't get to everything that I wanted to get to today, but I've got to go ahead and start getting ready to head out to work. So let me know down below if there's anything that I missed that you want me to react to in next week's video. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.